Hello YouTube, it's Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. And as you see from the earlier video, we're talking about Vertcoin, which looks like it's picking up. I'm not sure why, but it's picking up. And it's also another option for mining. So I do have a couple videos. One that is, what is Vertcoin? And the next one, Miner King talks about how to mine it from a year ago. So we'll run both of those videos and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And welcome back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. So let's get to the YouTube or Twitter page, which was not any new information on their Twitter page. So I'm just wondering why all of a sudden it took off today. Because there's literally no new post on the Twitter page. But I suspect that's going to change real soon. So look at the numbers here. For today, it's up 13.7%. And the last hour, it's 0.1, I suspect. And let me, this is their homepage, vertcoin.org. And let's click to this first video about what is Vertcoin. Vertcoin is an open source, truly decentralized digital currency that can be sent from peer to peer over the internet. There are no intermediaries, no chargebacks, and most importantly, you control your money. Vertcoin is sent and received from a digital wallet on your mobile phone or PC. When you send Vertcoin, the transaction is published to a distributed public ledger, whereby users buy transactions with their computer processing power in return for a Vertcoin reward. Surprisingly, most transaction verification for leading cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, is not done by its users at all. It is handled almost entirely by large data centers called mining farms. These farms use specialized hardware called ASICs, which are primarily owned and operated by large mining companies and ASIC manufacturers. So why does it matter? ASICs centralize power in the hands of a few, allowing them to manipulate transaction fees, force protocol changes, and block others. Vertcoin foresaw the issues ASICs would bring and pledges to keep its mining algorithm ASIC resistant by hard forking if needed. By allowing users to profitably mine coins on home desktop PCs and laptops, Vertcoin stays true to the original vision of cryptocurrency, a financial system owned and run by its users. Visit vertcoin.org to get started. A basic summary of Vertcoin, what it is, what it does, and its usefulness, which is pretty interesting because that video was from a year ago. And now we'll go into Mining King, or the Mining King, and he tells you how to set it up. And I actually used this tutorial video to set mine up. So let's get to it. Let's see what he has to say. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts on Vertcoin and Vertcoin mining. Well, as I'm going to teach you one secret tip that if you're mining in HiveOS, how you can actually cut your power on your rig altogether by about 20 to 25% if you do this one tip. So stay tuned and watch the whole video so you don't miss it. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is, is going to be how to mine Vertcoin on the PC. So we went over to vertcoin.org, and now we're going to click there. So the one thing I do like about Vertcoin is it's very easy to use. It's, it's made for everyone and everyone to participate you know, gamers to make some extra money and things like that. So let's you just click this. You're going to go over here to download the one click miner from their GitHub. So then and this is that's 2.1 and this is 2.1 beta four. So obviously this is the oh, that one says it's a pre release. Yep. So then we're going to go down here to Windows x64 zip okay we're going to download that okay now you're going to want to open it in the folder that it's in because you're going to need to unzip this um so we're going to extract okay 
Okay. And and obviously your Windows is going to tell you, hey, watch out, beep, 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 hey, there's stuff on your computer. So this is what's this is something that you're going to have to decide if you're going to want to do this yourself or not. Is you're going to have to decide if you want to allow this miner on your computer. So that is the risk with mining on a personal rig, which I don't recommend, is mining on your personal rig. But you can um, just make sure you don't have like you know credit cards saved on there and stuff like that. Because if you do, I wouldn't recommend doing this. That's just me. You can do whatever you want. Uh, but you're going to have to allow these through the Windows Defender. So then you have to start the actions, okay? Because all mining software is flagged as malicious, just so you know. Um, so then we're going to double click on the vert coin. All right, guys. So we're back here. And um, as you can see, as soon as it's done verifying all your stuff, it will start mining. Um, so right now, our expected earnings with... Um, 407 kilohashes and this is just on a stock 580 i'm not this isn't an overclocking video if you want me to do an overclocking video put a comment down below and i'll do an overclocking video um but our expected earnings for one day for just one rx 580 is about 1.17 vert so you're getting one coin a day if you're just using your graphics card you know what I mean? And this is an old 580. So if you got like a 3080 or a 3070 on here, you're going to get way more than that. And you know what I mean? You could just mine it while while you're sleeping and make some money, you know, for nothing. And you could just, these are coins that you could just hold on to and hodl them. So that way they'll be worth more money down the road. And like I said, this is easy. You go to their site, you download the miner and the miner, and then you make your passwords for your, for your, for your wallet and automatically starts mining. It's literally the easiest mining software i've ever seen to come out that's just it's just like one click and you're done i love the simplicity they're trying to get people involved they don't want anyone to feel left out or that it's too technical or difficult so it's a great feature okay so that is how to mine vertcoin on your personal pc gaming pc or editing pc whatever have you um so now we're going to get into how to mine this in hive os okay so in hive you're going to have to go to your flight sheets okay you're going to need to go to your flight sheets so once you're in your farm you're going to need to go to your flight sheets so you go to your flight sheets and it's right there up top you need to go to coin go to vtc and then you're going to go to your wallet now you can set up a wallet at vert you know, so if you go right back to where we went to uh, get our, our uh, so we go back to vertcoin.org and then you just click download wallet and you make a wallet just with the simple password. It'll sync up and then you have a wallet. It's extremely easy to use in the file. Let's go back over to our Hive OS. So we're in our flight sheet. OK, uh, we're going to have to we're going to wait for our wallet. Okay, but I'm just going to say, hey, we're going to use the ledger now, now, just to keep moving on the video. So next, we need to pick our pool. And this is pretty big because um, I try to use Mining Pool Hub, which is the biggest um, mining pool. They have the, the highest amount of hash power for mining vert, right? So I was thinking that maybe the, the it would be a better profitability for me because they're obviously they're getting more coins right but then again it's being split amongst more people so but i so anyways i try to use mining pool hub you have to download this file and change it and uh i tried that didn't work um i think it's more geared so if you want to mine to mining pool hub you know um on hive os i don't know how to do that if somebody does know how to do that Put a comment down below and let me know how to do it because I tried it for a couple hours and I just gave up. So I ended up going with Hashalot, which is it's still like the third biggest pool. So and I've been doing pretty good. Um, I'm getting about seven vert, seven point one vert, you know, per day off my six sixteen sixty supers. So we're gonna click on Hashalot, and they are a they're the only, as far as I know, U.S. based uh, vert uh, pool. So they're the third largest pool. So great. Now, when you come over to the miner, though, you, you either have to pick SRB miner, which is a multi-miner, which is for AMD uh, graphics cards and CPUs, or you need to use the BERT hash miner just for GPUs. So 
Um, you're kind of limited in the minors you can use. So you can't use like T-Rex, which I love, or LOL minor, or Team Red minor, or any of the really good solid miners on here because they don't support this particular algorithm. So um, your little that's the one thing you are limited to on vert coin is the actual miners themselves. They want you to use their vert hash miner. So you just click on the vert hash miner. You would click then create flight sheet, which I already have one. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your worker, right? So now um, I'm so I'll go to one of my other workers, right? So if I was if I already had a worker working, all I would do is is I would go over up to stop miner. And then I would go to, you know, and then I would click on flight sheets and then I would come down to my vert flight sheet and I would click the little rocket symbol, wait for it to update. And then I would just click restart miner and give it a couple minutes to load up the miner and connect to the pool. And then you should start seeing some vert. Um, so I did say at the end of this video, I was going to show you how to decrease your power by at least a quarter with in Hive OS when you're mining vert coin. So when you're in here mining vert coin, if some of you haven't already figured out uh, or even know this about NVIDIA cards, if you're if you're a pretty avid miner, you probably already know about this feature. But if you're new to mining, you may not know about this feature. Okay. So a while back, I think it was sometime in the summer, if I remember right, that uh, Hive OS came out with an update for Absolute Core. So that's so right now, if you just set your memory and you don't set your cores to the specific thing, they kind of just fluctuate up and down, right? So what you're actually doing is, is you're actually locking that core and making it stay there on that on the actual core, not the memory, on the core. Um, so I did absolute core to 1050 for absolute core on my 1660 supers. And these things were eaten about 80 to 85 mega hash on some of these cards and um for some of them that needed a little more power than others so look at this 65 63 69 70 60 59 in the software for a 1660 super so that is just 59 that is ridiculous i have never seen a gpu that low of wattage in hive and actually you know doing quite well, like actually hashing well. So, um, and as you see, my rig has not gone down. Um, so anyways, guys, this is, this is, we have to start thinking about this. We have to start thinking about what we're going to mine after proof of stake with Ethereum, because it's, it's going to come. You have to, you have to take a shot. So this is, the secret is is to mine when the profitability is down and when the net, network hash hash rates down, the difficulty is down, so the yields of the coin are more. That is how you mine. I want to throw in some more information. So from the video, he mentioned different things. One of the things I want to point out is currently I'm using a Wooly Pulley Miner for the pool and team red miner i haven't been able to figure out how to get these to work on my netvidia cards yet so the netvidia card the netvidia os the netvidia mining rig is still running uh caspa but the rest are running uh vertcoin so we need to figure out how to make those work well with uh vertcoin so I'm still working on that part, but to mining pool stats. And we go to Vertcoin. There we go. <clears throat> so for Vertcoin, we have Wooly Pulley as the number one. That's the one I'm using. I tried uh, Zerg Pool, but Zerg Pool is kind of hard to set up. Uh, Wooly Pulley was a lot easier to set up, and I use my um, wallet. So once you mine to it, then you can go straight to the wallet, and I'm using the Zelcor wallet. So Zelcor has a lot where you can add um, 
assets and it's pretty easy to set up. So I'd recommend using Wooly Pulley Pool. And here is the VTC one. And you just add your information in here. And it shows you uh, a lot of the information. And also use mining pool stats to find pools. And for this guy, there's 24 pools. So it's not like there's not a lot of activity on uh, Vertcoin. But I just wanted to get that information to you guys if you were planning to mine it or wanted to mine it or even thought about mining it. Right. I think it'd be a good alternative. Either this or Caspa currently, while uh, the Caspa is under attack through YouTube for ASCII miners, which haven't even came online yet. But uh, I suspect they might be correct at some point. It might be unminable with GPU miners. But if you do have a GPU miner, I would say this would be a good option until we find something better. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Black Tiger Miner coming at you on Hump Day Wednesday. Have a good day, and let's get back to the money.